Introducing the CEO Methods, a tried and tested blueprint that 103 of my busy professional clients have gone through over the last three years to lose combined 907 kilograms of weight loss and get more energy from the bedroom to the boardroom. So if you're trying to step your performance up and in the process, uh, lose more weight and get more energy, you're in the right place. So maybe maybe you came here and you're, you're just tired, right? Tired of waking up in the morning and not firing on all cylinders. Tired of the brain fog that actually descends and the lack of mental clarity that you get. Maybe it's more physical and you're looking down at your shirt and there's that belly bulge, right? And really, you're, as a business owner, when you ask yourself honestly, how many millions are slipping through your fingers as a result of you not operating at the level that you could be, that arguably you should be? And maybe you're frustrated or pissed off because you think, like, I should just be able to do this. But despite trying, anything like keto or some people have tried Weight Watchers, tried Joe Wicks, people have tried uh, working with a PT, people have tried working with a nutritionist, all of these solutions year after year, right, trying everything under the sun. There's this one area of your performance that has eluded you. And that is your health and fitness. You might be crushing it in your career. You might have the best family life. You might be the best dad in terms of how you show up and support your kids, right? You might be making top dollar in your career, but there's this one area that has eluded you or consistently not been at the top of your game. And that is your health and your fitness. And look, I know, right? I know that it's demoralizing. And I know that this can irritate you. And maybe there's this part of you that tries to hide it, tries to be okay with it. Maybe when you're around company and you nervously laugh about having a dad bod and joke with friends about how it used to be in your 20s or your 30s. But actually when you're alone or when you catch a glance of yourself in the mirror in the morning, that's not how you feel. You don't feel happy with it. You don't think it's okay. You're not showing up as the person that you would want to for yourself, your partner, or your family. And I just want you to know right here, right now, that what's actually happened is not your fault, okay? All that's happened is that you've been using the wrong model, an outdated model, in fact. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna sort that shit out for you today. And I'm going to go through why what you've tried before is wrong and show you the new system, the new way that 103 clients have used to consistently lose between 14 and 28 pounds and keep it off for years and decades afterwards. Right. So we're going to jump into that. So I'm introducing here the CEO method, right, which stands for clarity, energy and optimization. Right. It's a tried and tested blueprint, as I said, that 103 clients have used to obtain more energy from stuff that goes on behind closed doors in the bedroom to how they show up as business leaders and business owners in the boardroom. And look, as a byproduct for this, they have lost between 14 and 28 pounds in 90 days or less. And I'm going to show you exactly how you can do the same by understanding this one system. So what are you going to learn, right? So if you stay till the end of this presentation, short presentation, what are you going to learn? Well, there's four things. There's four things I want to leave you with, right? The first one is why you actually don't need to give up all of the things that you want, right? You don't need to go on a diet. You don't need to give up alcohol to lose weight, right? And why maybe just that excuse of I don't have enough time to exercise I'm busy I'm a business owner I work 12 14 16 hour days why that was never actually what was holding you back and exactly what was and how you can fix it thirdly I want you to understand the the secret mechanism or the secret pillars behind sustained executive performance and how you move from an all or nothing mindset 
to a system that actually works, right? And fourthly, the last thing I want you to leave with is why if you're not in control of your weight or your health, you could be leaving thousands, if not millions of dollars, pounds, if you're in the UK, on the table. And how when you can fix this, not only are you going to be more confident, not only are you going to have more energy, but you are actually going to bring more income into your business, into your life. All right. So we're going to tackle these four things on this presentation. So just a little bit about me so that you guys know who's this who's this random guy that I'm listening to. Right. Uh, my name is Alex Carter. I am an elite health and performance coach. And what I do is I help business leaders sort their shit out. Right. So they sort their shit out so that they can gain an unfair advantage at work or just greater balance between the different areas that make up their wheel of life. And I help people do this in the main before some sort of health scare, before a divorce, or in some cases, just before things start to fall apart a little bit, which, as you can agree, is something that is incredibly important when we think about outcomes that we want from our life. So a little bit about me. Uh, I'm an ex FTSE 100 director. Um, uh, I now work as an international performance coach, got clients in uh, predominantly the UK and US, but also uh, in Australia, in India. Um, so I work with people across a number of different regions and areas. The one thing that ties them together is that they are business owners or business leaders, right? So generally directors or VPs, presidents, um, or CEOs of high six to seven figure businesses. Me personally, I am a challenge enthusiast. So uh, what gets me out of bed in the morning are things like uh, amateur bodybuilding, right? I'm big, uh, big gym enthusiast, triathlon, um, Ironman, uh, 100 mile run, uh, month long triathlon. Uh, that's another story. Um, and outside of this, when I'm not uh, coaching um, the elite uh, when I'm not actually um, getting stuck into the next challenge and um, trying to persuade my wife that this is uh, this is the right thing to do. Um, I am father to my young son, Hector, who you can see in the picture there. That's him. He's only five months old at the moment. And husband to Victoria, which is not shown in the picture. That's my mum, uh, Joss. Uh, Victoria is my, my beautiful wife. And we've been married for uh, a few years now. Right. So I've spent my time um, working with the likes of BT, um, RS Components, O2. I've been a champion ambassador for Malaria No More. And I've recently headed up a, a directorship uh, to support the Institute of Fitness Behaviour Change as well. So, all right, enough about me. First big question that we wanted to address was how the hell can you actually lose weight without going on a diet, without giving up alcohol? Now, let's just kind of get to grips with what some of the problems are here, right? What's the problem with a diet? Well, the main problem with a diet, as I see it, is that it presupposes a start and an end point. Now, the problem with the diet really, right, there's lots of problems whilst you're on it, but the main problem is what happens after the diet. So you go on a diet to lose weight. What do you do to keep the weight off? Because if a diet is different to how you've been eating and drinking, how do you expect to actually keep the weight off that you've lost? And really, that's what happens to 95% of people that actually try and lose weight using a diet is they, they put it back on. The other question is, or the other problem rather, is thinking that you need to, in inverted commas, eat healthily. Now, if you do this, your mindset becomes one of absolutes. It's either healthy or not healthy. And what that tends to do is that breeds the all or nothing mindset, which whilst that got you to, or possibly got you to where you are now in your corporate career or in your business career, it's not something that works sustainably in health and fitness. And look, what's the problem with giving up alcohol? Well, I've been pretty transparent with my struggles, my personal struggles with alcohol when I was a little bit younger, but alcohol, as a tool is social and fun, right? As long as you can use it responsibly. So what's the solution? Well, the solution is a different framework for nutrition. I call this conscious consistency, which just means bringing a new or a continued awareness 
to how and what you are eating, right? And it's what a number of executives, it's the new way that professionals are actually not only losing weight, but keeping weight off for the long term, right? And there's a six step process that goes behind conscious consistency that just be involves becoming more aware with what you're putting in your body, right? It's not going on a diet. It's not giving up certain foods. It's about consistently making small micro adjustments in the way in which you eat and becoming more aware of how you eat for the long term. Look, like, why does it work? Well, this is one of my busy client directors. Uh, well, sorry, one of my busy uh, directors uh, who that I was working with, Tom, um, over in the States. Um, so looking after a billion dollar P&L or multi-billion dollar p &L. And Tom came in, um, had struggled to lose weight. He was frustrated because he'd been ex-military and um, he thought that he should just be able to do this, right? And, uh, you know, in his kind of early 50s, he was struggling to lose the weight. He'd maybe lose a couple of pounds and then it would all pile back on. And within 12 weeks, what we managed to do was lose 20 pounds, okay? But more than that, Tom, after six months after that, has managed to maintain that weight, which is something that has eluded him since his mid-30s. So he's now in as good a shape as he was uh, in his mid-30s, and he's been able to sustain that for more than six months now, which is really, really tough. So the second big question is, I don't have time to exercise, right? I'm so busy with work. And the problem with, with this is that you think that you need a gym, right? You think that you need a gym. You actually don't. You don't always have time to get to the gym because your busy schedule doesn't allow it. And then the problem with thinking that you don't have time to exercise conditions yourself that I need this half an hour, this hour slot. And the longer you don't exercise for, the harder it becomes to actually bridge that gap. And it conditions this all or nothing mindset which keeps you from attaining the small wins that build the momentum that actually gives you the success that's eluded you. And the problem with keeping yourself so busy at work, right? I'm so busy at work. I don't have time to exercise, don't have time to eat healthy. The problem with that is that it requires physical and mental resilience to be a business leader, right? To be a business owner. And to be honest, unless you're looking after yourself both mentally and physically, you are showing up with about 50% of your potential capability, right? So you are showing up, leaving stuff on the table. And you need to ask yourself, right? Is that acceptable to you? Could you be doing more? Could you be leading the team better? Could you be closing more deals if you actually showed up 100%? So what's the solution here? Well, the solution for Tom was a framework that he could take with him, whether he was traveling from East Coast or to Central Time, wherever he was in the States, he had a collection of programs using the Anytime Anywhere framework that allowed him to exercise, whether he was in a hotel room, whether he was in a, a hotel gym, whether he was at home, whether he had access to full gym equipment, right? He had numerous different exercise programs built around the Anytime Anywhere framework that wherever he was, whether he only had 10 minutes, whether he had an hour, it would allow him to exercise and still do something. And something is always better than nothing. Thinking what you can do rather than focusing on what you can't. So how did this work? Well, um, this worked for Colin, right? This worked for Colin, who actually is hidden on, under here, but Colin lost... 32 pounds, right? Using the anytime, anywhere framework. So Colin lost 32 pounds in five months and he had more energy, right? More confidence, better ability to handle conflict at work, right? And then better work-life balance, right? And this is all because we got Colin to a place where he wasn't trying to exercise or not to exercise. He was just looking for things where he could right? He could get those marginal gains, right? Could he do 50 press-ups? Could he do like 10 minutes of hit, 
right? Rather than thinking, I've got to get to the gym and do an hour session. He had different tools in his arsenal that gave him the ability to do something. And as you see, over a six or five month period, in fact, losing 32 pounds, right? After years and in fact, decades for Colin, where he was struggling to really struggling to keep uh, the weight off, right? Just yo-yoing and, and really looking at the trajectory, it was going upwards. Like this framework allowed him to keep the weight off. So the big question number three that we've all got is why the all or nothing mindset keeps you on a roller coaster of weight gain and the emotional turmoil that comes with that, the anxiety, the frustration, just being pissed off, right? And you either think, and this is coming like I used to think like this, right? And I know that most of my clients tend to think like this. They're either trying to do some sort of marathon, right? Or exercise four times plus a week and eat healthily. Or it gets to Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, stuff gets stressful. They haven't got the systems and systems and structures in place to keep themselves accountable to their health and fitness goals that they set on a Sunday or on a Monday. And they kick their health and fitness goals into touch for Maybe it's a week, right? But quite honestly, a lot of people that I've worked with, it's a month or a year. And the damage that you do by doing that, just compounding over time, particularly when you get into your late 40s and 50s, means that it's very hard. It's a very hard conversation that I have to have with those people, right? In your 30s and early 40s, it's still stuff that you can do, right? Late 40s, early 50s, you really need to wake up, right? You can't keep putting your head in the sand. So what's the solution here? Well, the solution is to actually, rather than trying to do everything all at once, right, rather than trying to bore the ocean, is to apply the principle of Kaizen and just focus on two to three small changes that you can make each week. And I tend to align these two four pillars of transformation, right? Exercise and movement, nutrition and energy, lifestyle factors and behavior change, and then mindset, right? So the way in which we do this is we sort out two things. We sort out your outer game, scheduling, programming, habit coaching, right? Getting what we need to do, the two to three things into your diary so that you have time put aside to do them. And then giving you the support and structures, the programming, the habits, right? Conditioning the habits so that you can do them, right? That's sorting out the outer game. Sorting out the inner game is actually sorting out your mindset. And mindset just means the cognitive thought that drives behavior. So by sorting out the inner game and changing the way in which you think and changing the way in which you feel, we start to have a transformation of not just the body, but also the mind, which actually is where we get the shifts and the long-term changes from. And look, this is this is what happens. This is exactly what happens with Nick, right? Nick was one of my clients. A uh, as you can see here, he's um, a fairly senior business leader. Runs a, a tech team for a large uh, business here in the UK. And um, look, he used to be he used to be fit, right? Played played rugby to quite a high level. Had always been like a like fairly into the gym, but like to be honest, he just he struggled with his weight particularly after having kids. He'd struggled to keep the weight off and he'd struggled to keep consistency. Now, Nick lost 22 pounds in 12 weeks. Um, and also, right, we helped create some boundaries so that he could prioritize his energy into the things that mattered most for him, which for him was his family, which helped give him a greater sense of purpose, helped give him a greater sense of calm. Right. And also into a profitable side hustle so that he could actually scale his income and not only turn up to his corporate job, right, but also start adding in some additional income on the side with this small business. So the last and hopefully you're still with me now. Right. The last question that we're going to address here is like, why with so much going on in our lives, right, all of these different areas competing for our attention all these different areas competing for priority in our lives how can you prioritize your health now and look this is where it gets real right this is where it gets real i'm going to go through some stats here right 
the average life expectancy for a UK male, and you can check this on Google, right, is 79 years of age. Now, if you're in the obese or the morbidly obese category, you can expect on average up to 20 years to be taken off that, which means that if you're getting to late 50s, like, and you haven't sorted this out, then you are rolling the dice. Now, not only is there's this health consideration to look at, but also, the average multi seven figure business owner who isn't uh, looking after the health is leaving at least, right, at least $1 million on the table. And if we look at divorce rates amongst professionals with high pressure demanding jobs who are overweight or obese, the relationship trends upwards. It's significantly higher, right? So, what do we take from that? What's the summary? Well, if you're not in control, of your weight or your health, you are potentially leaving not only millions of dollars on the table, but look, I'm going to be real. You could be heading for a early divorce. I'm not saying you are. You could be heading for an early divorce or an early death, right? Now, I'm sugarcoating it, right? But these are some serious issues. And having worked with over 100 people in these space, these are very real problems that some of the high performing guys that I've worked with are facing into. And we wanna avoid them at all costs. So what is the solution? Well, the solution is what we talked about at the beginning, the CEO method. And this involves three stages, right? Clarity, what is your personal vision for your health and your overall performance? What do you want? What are the KPIs for success? Right? We tend to do this in business quite often, but we don't do this in our own lives. The second stage right, is to energize. Energize just means a transformation of the mind and body by establishing the foundational routines that are going to allow us to exercise and move how we need to, to support our vision, and also to give us the energy physically and mentally to achieve that vision. And then the final stage is about optimization, where we do two things. We increase the intensity, right, to get a result in the short term. But also there's a regular reflection and reprogramming of the four pillars of transformation to ensure that you get a result in both the short term and you have the systems and structures in place to mean that you never need to work with another professional like me moving forwards. And look, this is exactly what happened to Alex. Now, Alex was one of my clients um, who worked with me for probably over a year, probably like 18 months, I think, total. And in his first 12 weeks with me, lost 19 pounds, right? Now, Alex met me at a stage where he actually had been divorced, right? So he'd gone through that already. And he was at a point where he was just actively saying, I don't want to go on bike rides with the kids. He couldn't run after them to get to the top of the stairs. And as a business owner, right, with a six-figure business, he was struggling to show up for the guys that worked with him with the energy that he needed. And in 12 weeks, he lost 19 pounds, right, and ran a couple of half marathons. Right? We've gotten to that point. And then 18 months later, he'd lost a further five stone, and he was able to run an ultra marathon, which you can see there, 50, just over 50 kilometers, right? And this just shows you the transformation that is possible when you actually approach things from the inside out, rather than just focusing on the weight, you look at things, yes, you want a result in the short term, we'll do that, we'll sort that out, right? But we also want a transformation for the long term. 12 weeks, yep, we'll do that. But also we need to think about the long game. Right, 12 years plus. So look, this is getting to the point where if some of this is starting to resonate with you, if you're like, look, I actually, yes, I want more confidence. I'm not feeling as confident as I could be, at least inwardly. Maybe outwardly, I appear confident, but I want more inward confidence. I need more energy to succeed in my business or to balance the competing priorities in my life. And you want to be at least 14 pounds lighter, 
right? Or I'll coach you for free until you are, right? That's how confident I am in this system, the CEO method, to deliver you the result that you're after, right? More confidence, more energy, and at least 14 pounds lighter in 90 days or less, or I'm just going to coach you for free until you are, right? So it's win-win. It's a guaranteed result. So what do I want you to do next? Right? Hopefully you're with me until this point. On the left there is just the number of the business owners, business leaders that have gone through Reignite, 12-week transformation for high-performing men. Right? I want you to book your personal 15-minute discovery call. And look, what this isn't is any sort of sales call. You're not going to be pitched anything. In fact, on this call, there isn't a chance to join Reignite, which is my program. As I said, my 12-week transformation program. You won't be able to join that on this call. Right. What it is, though, is just the chance for you to ask any questions to me and also for us to discuss what's the best way to achieve your specific results that you want. Right. What's the best way for you to either do that on your own or for us, if it's appropriate and it's a good fit for us to do that together and for us to sort the shit out for you so that you can get the results that you want.